At Michigan State University, the TB Simon Power Plant supplies steam, heat, and electricity to over 500 buildings located on the 5,200-acre campus. Through the power plant's cogeneration system, energy is efficiently produced for the university. At this time, the university is able to provide the highest quality, cost-effective energy for campus using the fuel substances of coal, natural gas, and biomass. Yet, MSU is looking to the future and researching alternative energies that may be used at the university. Not only does Michigan State University firmly believe in the idea of environmental responsibility, but also leads by example. MSU has set three unique environmental goals for the year of 2015. The university is committed to reducing waste by 30%, energy consumption by 15%, and greenhouse gas emissions by 15%. With these goals in mind, Director of Utility Services, Bob Ellerhorst, explains how the TB Simon Power Plant is an integral part of Michigan State University's environmental plan. Can you describe the utility system that we have at Michigan State University? We have uh, steam, water, and electric lines underground on campus connecting all of our buildings to a a uh, central water plant and a central power plant that's also connected to the local utility uh, distribution grid. Why does Michigan State University have its own power plant? When the campus started in 1855, uh, all the buildings were heated with a wood fireplace. And after, after a series of burning down the schoolhouse, in the 1890s, we built a, a power plant to heat our buildings, to connect them with uh, uh, steam pipes with the systems called district heating. So, and we've maintained that, so our power plant is here to heat our buildings. What are some of the benefits of the utility system? All right, some of the benefits of this uh, system that we have for Michigan State are, are increased reliability and, uh, and lower costs. Um, the underground system that we have uh, avoids uh, the traditional storm damage from winds, so we're not exposed to that, so our building customers uh, have more hours without interruption. Uh, we have a strong connection with the electric grid that supports us in providing electricity, although we don't have any backup support for steam. And we also have an ability to restart the plant, which is what, which what uh, we call a black start. So we can use our newest natural gas plant, uh, starting the plant with, with natural gas, and uh, get the whole campus uh, up and running if we had a major uh, problem. What does it mean to have a cogeneration power plant at Michigan State University? Well, in the 1940s and 50s, uh, uh, the technology of cogeneration was becoming usable for uh, for heating plants. Cogeneration allowed us to make uh, electricity from the steam that we're using to heat our buildings on campus. So we adopted that, that uh, technology to allow us to have the steam that we were heating our buildings with uh, at the same time make electricity in our single plant. So that's cogeneration. Today that's uh, referred to as combined heat and power. How does the cogeneration system impact costs for the university? Well, because the plant operates uh, combined heat and power, uh, about 60% of the uh, stored energy in the fuel is able to be converted to direct energy to be used by campus. And this has a really significant uh, impact to keep the university's utility costs really low.